And we're back. So we do need to go back to Conflate, which means that we need multiple keys. So good kitten internet, how are you? I'm recording all of this on the same day, apparently, because I'm nuts. Oh, I don't have enough inventory space? All right, let's equip a red potion. Can I even sell any of this stuff here, or am I gonna have to waste some items? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna sell a red potion or two. Because I'm gonna need two keys, and I can buy potions here. I would love to buy Tilt A, but can't afford that right now. It's also not a very good spell. It's only really useful against one boss in the game. I just don't know me. I didn't need to sell both of those. Oh well. No, that's not what I want to do. Because I can equip an item as well. Oh well. No big deal. Let's buy the keys and then get going. So yeah, this is the f take four of doing this. I forgot to buy the keys. I remembered part of the way through. It's not like I recorded all that much. <sighs> Tired. Yep. So yeah, apparently the guru doesn't give you the Ring of Dwarves until you have this. Which we would have actually, uh, we haven't used any keys between gaining that and coming to Daybreak, which is the town that we're in. So it's not like we could have saved time. Okay, so there's a way of doing this without getting hit. No idea how many times it took me to do that. Ay. All right, we're going all the way back. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Right. This is a deluge. fire because fire is just better. Build that thing fast, unlike what I kept doing before. We're just going left. That was the wrong left. Poopy. Come on. Jump over here. I dare ya. Come on. things easier for me to get back up. There we go. Well, I have to deal with stupid bees. Ah, I need the key for here. Interesting. I've used key. Welcome back. area, right? Where we went through. Me. I will kill this one. Maybe. There we go. I don't think I can get up there now. I'm just heading back. Right, and then through there. Oops. Eat some food. Remember when we had easy enemies like that that gave us food? That was nice. On the plus side, those things are not very threatening anymore. So, we're back in Conflates. Remember, the Guru of Conflates is a very important person. That was supposed to be the hint. Don't rely on your magic power alone during the last fight against the dwarves. You could wear the battle helmet and battle suit only when you have the Dragon Slayer. 
You will not be able to return us the Dragon Slayer until we have true peace here. This ring will open the door to Darkmoor. Must be Darkmoor. Take it with you. Dwarf ring. I now have a dwarf ring. I'm a dwarf. All right. Just seeing if I can buy like red potion or something. Because I know I can't buy keys here. That's why I have two with me. I would suck otherwise. I have to go way back. I do have wing boots, don't I? I'm at least buying one red potion because I accidentally sold one too many. Yes, I do have wing boots. Okay. Now that we're done with that fetch quest, let's go back. Hey. Look at how little damage I take from magic now. It's awesome. I've used the key. Ow. I'm falling. Don't get the choice. All the way over here. You know you want to. And in ball. It's capable of getting back up there, but it's unlikely. This thing's going to hit me a bunch. I go top side, that means I don't get hit by as many things. Here I need to stand. Yep. And get a pair of wing boots this way. Any chance at all of killing you without getting hit. Still got hit. Oh well. We have the Ring of Dwarf. Will you level me up? No, it's 45,000. Uh... Which means I don't have enough money to actually buy Tilt. Because this place is damn expensive on healing. Is it even worth buying Tilt? It, again, it's useful for one boss in the game. Did I even tell you to buy Tilt? No. Doesn't mention it. Yes, and I am... Could I have your autograph? Are you busy now? Well, will you come visit me? My name is Moto. Please don't forget. I don't know if I've ever seen that conversation. The Great Break is a town at the border. Is it the nurse here that was talking about it? Yeah, I have the Ring of Dwarves now, thanks. Alright, I suppose, well, we need to save anyway. 
yes, I need peace of mind. Uh, I was so close to being able to just buy tilt. I think this is the last town of the game. Look at that slowdown. Also, bees where you can't see them easily. Ugh. Why, game? Why? Why do you hate me so? Alright, is there any secrets in this area? Yes. That's D. Hold on a moment. Let's save state and see what that was. There's something all the way on the left. To me, I can survive the bees. Oh, it's the entrance of daybreak. Never mind. Load state. This is why I save stated. And that thing is there for healing. I am going to abuse it. As I get hit. Good job, me. Anything else here? No. I'm just going to keep healing. Alright. Let's heal all the way up. Of course. I don't care about the money right now. Mostly because they give next to nothing in money. Darn you, I was trying to heal! I didn't think it would walk all the way over. Usually they Roomba a little bit more. There. So this requires you to have the Ring of Dwarf to enter. So we couldn't do this until now. Welcome to Darkmoor. Pretty sure this is Darkmoor at least. Oh, sorry. This is the Castle of Castles. So this is a... Yeah, this is Castle Darkmoor. Complete with creepy-ass everything. Um, this is a giant maze, so I'm going to actually have to consult the map, which is what I have over on the left part of the screen. So when I'm looking at the camera like this, I have the map below me. Where the heck do I start, start at? There. Okay. There's weird crap everywhere in this dungeon. Damn it. Also, interesting music. It's creepy. Okay. Remember those guys? Remember how they used to be difficult? We have a little town here. Oh, I could have entered from below, it looks like. But, this place is creepy. Because they're all enemies. However, uh, let's see, which one does it say? Might as well just show them all off. Of course, I took damage on that, but it's going to be okay, and you'll see why. One of those things. Okay, so... Second from the right. not be worth trying, but let's find out. That's what happens. You get a free red potion. 
unfortunately, you immediately get hit upon exit. So I actually have to use that red potion right now, but that's okay. Anyway. We want to enter from the right side, so... That's where we're going. We're basically right back at the start again. I'm gonna take a hit or two, unfortunately. We want to fall down from this side. Because this is where we want to be. Oh, if I would have realized there was easy healing here. Welcome to the last town of the game, Darkmoor. There's pretty much nothing here. Got a bar? One person who talks? Rich inside the castle. You should find a guru. Thanks. Food? Very, very overpriced food. 800 golds. Treatment, which is even more overpriced. Three thousand gold. E shop. With only king keys and nothing else. And finally tools. With only red potions and giant slayers. Nothing useful. Nothing else here. Uh. So yeah, I if I want Tilte, I have to go back. Which I'm probably going to do. Because I almost have enough money. So, let's do it. So there's a reason why I'm going to save... Well, that's right, no, because I still have my elixir. Hmm. Okay, let's go back and get Tilte. Luckily, we don't need healing here, we just need magic. That's why there's a ladder here, so you can get back. I'm still gonna get hit again. Did not expect twice, but okay, cool. Die. I actually have enough money for tilt -Eye now, woo! Hit again. Up here, where I can at least heal. dead because of the stupid bees. Anyway, we're going to go by Tilton now. Whole reason why I came back. So Tilte is not a great spell. I need to fast forward because I have to spend all the money. Yeah, the only thing that we did not buy in this game was a, um, whatchamacallit, um, a bit, 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 the large shield. 
because it does nothing. I'm gonna heal up twice, which is all I can afford. Going to hit the guru. I'm almost at max level. Almost. Then... We're resetting. See how much money we have now? But you notice that I... Dropped in level. I think I'm going to try to hit 45,000. <sighs> Not that direction. I don't care if that's the correct direction. I don't want to deal with that direction. Can you blame me? Uh, I didn't even see how much XP that gave. It's giving me so little. 487. 487, so that's 13 off. That's 13 plus 35. I'm getting 48 XP. That'll take forever. I guess I am going the other way. Although I can afford another treatment, or another um, bag of food, at least. Oh yeah, I should show you what Tilte looks like. That is Tilte. Look at how hard it is to hit anything with that stupid spell. I mean, it's a miracle that I even hit a beam. Okay. This I can at least go back and forth here because there is actually healing at the end of this area. Are bees even worth hitting? 757. Give 25 XP. I guess everything is better than nothing, but ugh. Alright. I'm going to be back. And back. I am now Lord, thank you very much. Lord Fancy Pants, so that is max level. Um, so there's no reason to worry too much anymore. I'm going to save state and show you what it looks like on load. Save state, not load state. I have 13,000 money. It did not save. I forgot that I need to actually talk to them again to get it to save because I'm using saves and not passwords. Alright. Now. State. Reset. Load. 15,000 money. So this is how I would normally buy Tilte. I already bought it. So instead... This is how we're going to max out on red potions. I'm gonna equip a red potion. That Matic is worthless. I don't know why the game was, and uh, why this walkthrough was telling me I should probably get a Matic. We're just gonna fill up on red potions. full on red potions. So we go and save again. And then we reset again. We are at the end of the game. We are full on red potions with one Matic, one wing boot, and one hourglass. We have everything that we can possibly get at this point of the game. There's more things, of course. All right. Time to go exploring. All 
Money is no longer useful for us, so it doesn't matter that we don't get that. Oh, I remember. Yeah, we have to go to the lower one. Because it's not really possible for us to jump up to the upper one. Because of that wolf man sitting there. Alright. Here. to save state because I don't remember jack squat about this dungeon anymore. I've only beaten the game once for reference. Of course. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And there's just people here. Go to see the guru in the castle of Fraternal. Dragon Slayer is in the hands of the king of the dwarves. So oh, now we know where to find Dragon Slayer at. It's not a great spot. Also, time to get used to the whole um, I'm going to spawn in a spot with people or worse bees. back to fire. Fire is useful against bees. If I live... I seem to remember that there's not really healing in the rest of this dungeon. That was a waste of time. bees so much in this game. I think I have to, yeah. I have to go from above. You know what? We're going to reload from save state. Because that was a worthless direction anyway, and I wasted a bunch of hit points. Let's go. Not that I need the XP. I'm already max level. That's still using Tilte. That's what I meant to use. The, it went through the bee! I hate bees. So yeah, it's really hard to do that jump. It'd be easier now that there's no bees flying around, but... There. Okay. Because there's poison down there, and I can't, you know, do anything about that. Alright, I don't remember if I need to go in or not. I'm gonna assume no for now, and go above. best part is that my weapon will attack through walls. Unfortunately, I would have to use wing boots to get through there, and I don't think I want to. <laughs> so much unnecessary damage. Did not mean to actually walk over. At least this is healing. Means I can cheese it for a moment. No, I can't. 
Cool. This game. That I can cheese. No, I can't. Hmm. Alright, what's actually in this castle? possible for me to jump in there. But at least I can get hit points. We're going to go left and then right. Slow hit points, but I'm going to do it anyway because dang it. Bees. Bees are everywhere. Yeah, I'm actually taking more damage than I'm healing, aren't I? Especially when this, I have to deal with stupid bees! Yeah, I think I'm actually taking as much damage as I'm healing. Yeah, I am. And I can't go that way anyway, so that was worthless. Hmm, that time I did it. Let's see if I can pull this off. Do it like that. Okay. Yeah, basically I have to not get hit by that thing, but even if I get hit once, it's not that bad. It's getting hit by that plus the bees that are the problem. Or, you know, getting hit twice. That held, healed zero. That healed some. It's gonna take forever, but at least I have some more healing. This'll work. Alright, let's go down. Alright, I'm gonna have to fight them because... It's not really another way through. Just looking at a picture of where I am. Yeah, this map is very strange because it actually wraps, even though no other map in the game does. Uh, do I need to go up or down from here? Not sure. I'm gonna go up. Might be the last video, now that I'm thinking about it. Yep, got one of these goobers. On the plus side, I can just stand here, so this is actually easy. The problem is that it's one way. You'll notice that I can't get out of here, except by going up the ladder and over. And that brings us back to the room with this um, porcupine thing on the bottom. Why I save stated that way, in case if this is a bad idea. There's an item or some variety over here. Or not. It's just nothing. Oh, it's an hourglass. Okay, that's not worth it. Load state. We're going this way now. Healing! Reliable healing! Thank you. I appreciate you so much, octopus friend. I'm 
pretty sure I can't go up that ladder. No, it's too much. Okay, there's a snack friend there. Snack friend would drop ointment, it looks like. Uh, go up here. Bees. So if I remember right, this is the one point in the game where tilt is useful. Oops. And I'm already out of magic. One point in the game, my posterior. Okay, let's just continue and fight it in a normal way. I don't remember if I have to fight it. I'm just doing it because I think I should. It's over here. Ah. So there's a... Hmm. Red potion over on the right. Poison on the bottom. That doesn't help at all. It doesn't. Also, that spawned poison underneath things. You know, as you do. Ah! I'm here. Uh, hourglass now. So what the hourglass does is makes it stop using magic. Heal. By the way, this is the King of the Dwarves. Power of Hourglass is gone, which means we're gonna start taking magic damage again. But hey, we at least got a good chunk of its hit points down. Yep. I've got the Dragon Slayer. And this is what it looks like. Hell yeah. But now we are fully equipped with all the things. Dragon Slayer, Battle Suit, Battle Helmet. What are the other ways of fighting this thing, anyway? Oh, right. Tilt is the other way of handling that dragon. Now let's see if I can walk back in and show you Tilte. Nope. That's why you have your own special way of going through. Anyway, we have the Dragon Slayer stuff. So that's one of our objectives for this castle. The other objective for the castle is to find the Guru. Remember, the Guru, we were told, is in here somewhere. Pretty sure this way? That's where the guru's at. Nope. That's not where the guru's at. That's an enemy. Cool. I don't have enough magic. Notice, no weapon. Well, that was a waste. It's the next one over. I can do that. Look at how long of a reach I have on this weapon. It's quite nice. Quite nice. Okay. Um, is it truly the one over? Yeah, it is. Go back over here. Go 
go talk to with our old friend. Let it pass me on the left side. Nope. Nope. Not the way I wanted to go. Oh well. Looks like we're not talking with old friend after all. I'm gonna talk with snack friend, though. Because snack friend randomly dropped something. That's what I would like to see right about now. There we go. Ointment! You know, our old friend the ointment. We're at 41 minutes. I wonder if we're going to actually beat the game. See? There's the guru. The monster you've just defeated is King Grieve, the King of the Dwarves. The evil one changed his appearance. The king protected the sword from the evil one by hiding it within his own body. Use the sword to defeat the evil one in the fortress. This will open the door to the fortress. Demon ring. Alright, now do I just leave? Yeah. I need to go back to Darkmoor. All right. This is why I wanted ointment, so I don't have to fight that thing. This I don't mind fighting, because it's easy. Yep, there goes ointment. One-shotting them now. Go ahead and save state here. I feel safer killing it, just in case if I fall. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to see, and that requires me going all the way to the right. So let me save state and then try to do it. So there's actually an area that I haven't been to, and I don't know what's there. Doesn't mean I have to take a little bit of damage. That's okay. Because I have my good friend. Ah. Okay, it's just an enemy. Because this is where it wraps around. So if I go over here, I've got the poison again that I just got knocked into, and I'm gonna die. I have like three hit points. You know what? If I make it out like this, I won't bother reloading. It's fine. I bet I'll die from bees, though. Or, you know, this thing. the next screen over, maybe? But I'm predicting B. Like that B, right there. Alright. Almost there. I have zero hit points. We're going to save state here. And I die immediately. Awesome. No. I can red potion. It's fine. So I'm going back to Darkmoor before I do anything else.
<sighs> anyway, we can now enter there. I'm not going to yet. I'm going to heal first. I did not want to touch the poison, but I did anyway. That's fine. I'm going to heal, so it's kind of irrelevant. Does this not sound like the final dungeon for an NES game? dealing with those types of garbage things. Ah, good job, game. So yeah, we have to go all the way up and around for some dumb reason. Good enough. We're saving here. Going to fully heal. Which hurts a lot on money. But, not like we have anything else to do with money anyway, right? And then I'm just buying red potions until I'm maxed. There's nothing else. We are maxed out on everything. Uh, would have been nice if, you know, that Mac would have done something, but, you know, beggars, choosers, etc. Save again, just because, and then head out to the final area. 48 minutes. How much of the game do I have left? Not really that much. Let's just finish it here. All right. Would have been nice if I could have jumped higher. Oh, there's an hourglass there. Interesting. Never realized that was a part of this. here, isn't it? Just need to go upwards, not lower. Bees! You know what? I'm killing this thing first. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, at least all I did was kill the easy one. Got one bee. A little easier for me to deal with only one bee. Good enough. Alright. That's it. We are now in the final area. Point of no return. Let's go. Alright. I This is a large area, by the way, and it's a giant maze. Alright. So, for reference, the final boss is actually just through this wall. If this wall were to, you know, be knocked down with Matic, that would be awesome! It would make things so much easier. It doesn't. So instead, we're going to have to go around. Is there anything in here that I care about? right and jump up to the small ledge before the drop. Okay. So, 
This is one way of doing it. I'm just following the guide because this is the quickest way and we're running low on time. Oh, oops. First off, let's switch back to fire magic and use the wing boots that we have. All right, so we're in here. Drop down to the lower level, continue through a passage on the next room to the right. Ointment. Collect ointment. Ignore, and you want to head straight to the door. There's a door. is the door that they're talking about. Okay. I'm to ladder above. That's fine. This is where I need to be, okay. I recognize where I'm at. So yeah, that makes things easier. And just go straight to the door. One thing, because I have ointment, I'm immune to the boss. This is the final boss. I just defeated the final boss. Back to the king. Glad you have. Glad to have you back safely. It will take time, but the elves and the dwarves will become friends and return the peace to this land as it used to be. I understand you will leave to continue your journey. What a restless guy! Ha 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 ha! That's it. That's the end of the game. So, to give you an idea, I went in the final castle. I ended up going through one, two, three, four, four rooms. There's 20 or 25 rooms. There are no items in the castle other than what I picked up, I think, and poison. Lots of poison everywhere. That's it. We have played Faxanadu. I had intended to rotate what's below me through a few things, so that's the front of the box for the US version. That's the rear of the box. Uh, feel free to pause and read it if you would like. Um, yep. And then this is the Japanese box, which is very different. I don't know. I For once, I actually think I actually prefer the American box. It seems cleaner. This seems dirty to me. Anyway, we have finished Faxanadu. There is nothing more in the game. There's no new game plus. There's no nothing. We have finished everything. Thank you for joining me for this game. Um, I did not beat it for the first time until college. So I would have been 19 or 20 when I beat it for the first time. And this is now the second time I've beaten the game. So, yeah. That's it. So, basically, what ended up happening is that the ointment only lasts for a certain number of seconds. It's 30 seconds. But the moment you enter the final boss room, it stops all of your counters. So, as a result, you gain the ointment, you just walk through everything, and the moment you trigger the final boss room, you're done. Uh... I guess that's it, Internet. This has been a fun thing. It's was short, but that's kind of what I expected. 
I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Oh, and if anybody has any suggestions for games to play, because I don't want to hit Wild Arms 2 yet. I want that to be a little while longer. Um, I'm planning on trying to play something that my father would have liked for his uh, the anniversary of his death, which is Monday? Uh, no, tomorrow, actually. This was a game that he had played, but I've already beaten it, and today is the 17th for me, for reference, so. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed, Internet. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!